and welcome to another segment on Jolo Katsu. Today we are going to work with our paper roses, our cray paper roses that we made previously. Uh, if you need a refresher on how to make those, click the link here. So this is a little rose centerpiece that we're going to make today. So we're going to start with some styrofoam. Here's some uh, tissue paper that we're just going to wrap around it to just kind of change the color here. Or you can use cloth or however you want to do it. Ribbon. Uh, and then we'll use a variety of our paper roses in different colors. Pink and red and white. So we're doing a Valentine's theme, but you can use it for any time of the year. So let's get started. So first, we are going to just cover our block, our cube, our styrofoam cube here with some tissue paper. So now we've wrapped our styrofoam cube in uh, tissue paper. You know, the bottom's not really covered. If you are really particular, just go ahead and cover, you know, as much of it as you want. I have a back side here where the seam is. I just use some uh, folding like a gift and um, our hot glue gun. So now go ahead and just kind of poke some random holes. And you can always change it and you're going to cover some of the holes anyways. Depending on how many roses you want in here. If your roses are big or small. If they're tighter like this one or more open like this one. You know, the size will be different when you put it all in here. You probably won't need all the holes that you uh, put in there. But you want to kind of dig your pencil in so the hole is bigger instead of just putting the tip in like that. So just go ahead and have at it. Have some fun. Take some aggression out on the styrofoam here. Uh, another thing that we did with our arrangement is we, instead of just put the flowers on the top, we had the flowers kind of go on the side and go, go around here like that. So on that note, we'll have to make sure that we have holes. There's at least three holes on the outside, sometimes making holes uh, on the corners works really well. Um, two, so we'll just, like I said, the holes will be covered. It's not a big deal that, um, you cover or you use some holes and you don't use others and, oh no, I have a hole. I need to fill it. What am I going to do? You can just cover it with the roses. So that's a start. Uh, so this is how we're going to do it. Uh, so if you remember our roses that we put together. Uh, remember I kept reminding you to try to have a stem and we use that stem to place in the holes and kind of push down and then we'll fill the hole with hot glue and around it a little so your rose sticks to the, to the foam. Let's try one here. Okay. Nice big hole, put some hot glue on and around that with your stem in, just kind of put it in the hole and kind of hold it there. The nice thing about crepe paper, if you can, you can fluff it up, you can squish it, you can kind of play around with it. Uh, but that middle will sit in that hole really well. And again, you put plenty of glue around it and you're good to go. So all you have to do is just continue doing that and putting your flowers uh, around in any kind of order you want and uh, have at it. So now I'm just gonna go into the corner here. So again, make a nice big hole enough for your rows, depending on, again, how big or small your rows is and having your stem here to put through the hole that you just created in your styrofoam. Hot glue is my friend. 
the hot glue is under the rose. So here's a rose kind of in the corner here and just kind of set it in there, fluff it around a little and it'll stay. So now if you can see, I have, I have a hole here in my styrofoam and I, and I used the rose that was kind of big here. So I'm just gonna move my hole over. It's not like I can erase my hole or anything. But again, just kind of jab your pencil in there and put some hot glue on and around. Maybe I'm using too much, but you know, whatever, however much you wanna use. Put your stem in the hole. Just kind of push it down and set it there like that. See how that's coming together? It's real nice like that. So here we are. I've kind of did a little pattern. Sometimes it doesn't match up and sometimes it's okay. Uh, for the sides, now I'll be working on the top. Edges a little there. So fluff it out. Just don't be afraid to just get in there. Because it'll all it'll all work out. So we got some holes here that will make smaller flowers to fill in. And there is your finished centerpiece made from crepe paper roses. I used about 23 larger roses in three of the smaller ones to just fill in the blanks or the empty spaces. But again, if you space them a little closer, uh, maybe you won't have as many spaces as I did. You have them all together, ready to present. You can give it as a gift. It makes great Valentine's Day uh, centerpiece or gift uh, for a baby shower or birthday or just to have something nice on your table. So there you go. Enjoy your centerpiece. centerpiece. Uh, if you make one, you should post the picture and share it with the rest of us. I'd love to see it. Thanks again for visiting us here at Jolo Kasu. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching our latest video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to check out next week's video or check out one of our past videos. And be sure to subscribe today.